Hello you guys and welcome to Kirby's Adventure. This is Cyborg Bowser here and today we are going to be starting this good looking game. <laughs> it is Kirby, right? So as you can plainly see here, I did 100% it, but do not expect that from this playthrough. So level 1, Vegetable Valley. Probably one of the most well-known levels of the game, actually. I could be wrong about that, though. And Kirby just goes in by a warp star. Now, we don't know much of the story, but... We don't really need to know the story to play the game. And here, I was just trying out some controls here. Just to get a hang of it again. But yeah, essentially... Kirby can suck up anything, pretty much. Now, the ability I have here is the beam. To, to use the power, it's pretty simple. I don't think I need to explain that a whole lot. Um, you can, I suppose, dash. That's a good thing to do. Now, I actually wanted that guy, but whatever. Can I keep you, beam? Yes, I can. Now, I'm sure you may have seen this already, but Kirby has life. Or I guess it's called Vitality. I think that's what they call it. Dang it, I I should have actually slot I should have just slit attacked right there. But no matter. We have the fire ability here. We are going to need this ability. I'm fairly certain. I thought it was in this one, but maybe not. But you're gonna notice I'm mowing through this level. Or this stage, I guess. This is 1-1. For those who may not know. And that's the end of that one already. Well, shoot. And this is basically where you can get bonuses and whatnot. And if you get the highest one, you get extra life. But I've hardly ever gotten an extra life from it. So, I'm not going to say it's rigged, but... It's definitely hard. Crane Fever. This is something that you would see in, like, a vending machine. Well, not a vending machine, but... Yeah, like, something you see in an arcade. But, the tip here is, and I don't know why I went for this guy, but... Don't take the larger ones, because chances are you're not gonna get it. Because, like carnival games, it's rigged. I'm fairly sure of that. Everything is, everything is a carnival game. So I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to take the sure bet, and just take the small one. I don't know they explained it very well, but this will explain a lot right here. It'll say bonus, and the small Kirby is worth a 1-up. The larger one is, I believe, a 3-up, or a 2-up, I don't remember exactly, but I know it's more than just one. Um, break you. These are new obstacles, but I don't really want you. Now, you can swallow more than one item. You can. And here's a new ability, the Cutter. And we get our Warp Star. How appropriate for that thing to be there. Now, the Cutter is exactly what you'd expect. It's just a weapon. It's like a boomerang, I guess. Oh, you. You suck. This is one of the mini-bosses in the game. One of many, actually. But this guy's really easy to beat. And he gives you the crash ability. Which I'm just gonna use here. I don't have any use for it. So yeah, that's exactly what crash does. Destroys everything on the screen. I mean... And there's a lot of water portions in this game as well. So, get used to that. Stupid beam, get out of here. I don't think you want the beam. Now, I think there's two ways you can go. And, there's a maximum tomato here. The only way to get that... You can't use the fire here, or it's not gonna work. But the spark ability will allow you to get that. So, I actually wanted to get hit there. But since this is an since this is an NES game, enemies do respawn, so don't worry about that. If you mess up once, then you can always try again. That's the kind of the beauty of this game. 
Great, now we have obstacles. Not like there hasn't been obstacles before, but this one in particular. And you get the sword ability up here. I think you could have gotten it earlier though, but whatever. We got a sword, let's go. Can we get a one up, please? Aw, oh, lame, I only got a four. Um, I think it's number two where you can get 5,000 points, I think it is. But then you should get a one up, I think. But enough about technicalities, we got stuff to destroy. So, screw you guys. These guys are easy to take out with the sword. I meant to slide attack, but I didn't figure out the slide attack until much later, I think. Those guys hurt. Oh, you. We get the fireball ability here. Which, if you can't already expect that, I think I just despawned them, actually. But it's not that big of a deal, I don't think. And yes, enemies die, like, by themselves. That's actually kind of a cool thing to do. I think you can speedrun this game, but it's really... I think it's hard to do so. Now, I'm in need for some life right now. I only have one bar left. But if I, rem if I remember right, I didn't die. Um, I think this might be the end, actually. So I'm not taking any chances with this. And there's a Maximum Tomato right when I said it. Yeah, it is called a Maximum Tomato. Screw you, and give me that health. I don't even need to kill you. But we're already almost done with this world. Already. Time is just flying, but... We have one more stage to go to. And there's a museum up here. What the museum does is, it provides you with a special... Um, a special ability, but in this case, you get the sword. I don't know if you need the sword, but I'm going to go for the sword. But obviously, this game is different to each person that plays it because of the variety of enemies. So it's really up to you. It's based on your playstyle. Like I said, there's way too much technicalities that go into this. And we get another mini-boss. Are you kidding? This guy could be a jerk. But... This guy... Yeah, he shoots ice cubes at you. And I think at one point he'll charge you as well. But he's easy to beat. And he gives you the freeze ability. Which we really can't use a whole lot of, I don't think. But who knows, right? Now, at least the game that I'm playing, this game lags whenever you use an ability. I don't know why that is. Like, it does lag. But, if anything, I'm just playing it safe. That's all I'm gonna say. But, these levels are, these levels are very straightforward, for the most part. There are some hard stages later on, however... Where I'm just like, what? But, yeah. I was wondering what this is. Oh? Who are you? And why did you just give me an invincibility right here? Basically, when you get hyperspeed, yes, there's a 1-up, but I, cho I chose to ignore it. And that's the end of it. So, it's whatever. Um, basically when you're invincible, obviously you can't get touched, you can't get hurt. And because I have the freeze ability, oh boy, this should be fun. Now you'll notice there's something way up on top, above the boss. That is a warp room, we'll get to that later on, but right now, let's take on the boss. Which is pathetically easy, by the way. I just completely decimated him there. Ugh. I mean, granted, he's very well known, but when you have this ability, it's OP. Very much so. 
so now we go on to level two but if you liked what you saw in this video please make sure you like comment do all that fun stuff and i'll see you next time for world two take care